adjudicators, attorneys, mind your hearing and changing spectators in the law. So we are faced with the motion that this house would be for post mortem organ donation mandatory. I would like to first define the terms. House would be government may be legalized post mortem healthy dead body of a person. Organ donation healthy clean harvestable usable organs. Mandatory would be compulsory and must be implemented. We set our parameters here in the Philippines hospitals and morgues in the Philippines, and harvested organs must be preserved in a clean storage space by means of freezing. So, proceeding with my first argument. Uh, also, also before, I'm uh, sorry, I, I would discuss two points, um, type of preservation of life and uh, the issue of organ shortage. And my Deputy Prime Minister would discuss also two points Control, control limit and possibly limiting organ selling and promotion of camaraderie, unity, and empathy among Filipinos. So now proceeding with my first point. Organ donation. It's not really familiar to us, right? We don't really experience this. We might know relatives, we might know friends, but not really us. Personally, I have no connections to this kind of situations. But, have you ever thought of People who undergo this, people who need organs, people who need hearts, livers, kidneys, maybe in the future even a brain, who knows? It's quite advanced. But these people, if we mandate, if we make this compulsory, people will have a chance of a better life. I mean, even the fact that these people, on the waiting list, to give you a rough ratio, there's like maybe 200, maybe 500 people to one kidney. That sounds sad, doesn't it? One kidney is waiting for one of those 500 people. I'm not really straight on the facts, but yes, that's, that's a rough ratio of it. Not only here in the Philippines. Also, these people are already dead. They have moved on to the Depends on the religion maybe, but to the next life. They're already dead. What good can they do with their dead bodies? Here, here! What good can they do? I urge you people to think about this. Legacy. Here, here. These people leave legacy to the next people, to the posterity. If they donate their hearts, their kidneys. These here, people here. who are sick, who are suffering. You want them to suffer more? You have to feel more pain? I urge you people to think about this. Think about how these people who are suffering, you want them to alleviate, you want them to, to uh, remedy, their, uh, remedy their suffering. Give them a heart, a better heart, a better heart, yeah. working, a functional heart. <clears throat> then these people can live. These people can do more. I don't know if you're familiar with this movie, John Q. A movie uh, starring Denzel Washington. His kid, his very young kid, is into bodybuilding. He's, he's into making his body more healthy. But then his heart is twice as big of a normal child. His heart malfunctions. This kid is on the verge of death. Given the organ shortages, his father, Denzel Washington, also named in the movie John Q, decides to almost Sorry if I'm spoiling you, but he almost pulls the trigger on his own head just to give his heart to his child. That's a good sacrifice there, people. And it's a good legacy. What do you think that child will go on to do? Carry on his father's legacy. Carry on what his father has told him to do, has given him experience, has given him lessons in life. He will continue to do those. He will continue to live, to help his mother. To respect and uphold his father's values. Also, Seven Maps, a movie by Will Smith. He donates his seven organs to these seven deserving people. And what do these seven people do? Live their life. Here, here. They live their life, people. One, one of these people was a pianist who couldn't see. He was blind. 
He couldn't really see. No, scratch that. He couldn't see. He couldn't see. He can't appreciate what God has given us. Colors, contrast, and everything in between that our sight could possibly give us. Will Smith gave his eyes to this pianist. When he realized that this person, he went to this person's funeral. This pianist cried for the first time because of Will Smith's eyes. Here, here. What do you think? With this, given that if we mandate, if we make organ donation mandatory, people will mandatorily leave legacies. Proceeding to my second point, issue of organ shortage. Now, as I've already mentioned in connection with my first argument, yes. There is organ shortages. Now, people are left with one organ to 500. That's a pretty horrible ratio, people. That's really bad. Think about if your mother, knock on wood, cousin, knock on wood, relative, friends, blah, blah, whatever, is on the verge of dying and he needs a kidney, a heart. How would you feel if he was on the 500th, the last name on that list? Would you be happy? Would you be happy? No. Now, I'm telling you, if we make this motion compulsory, we would uplift this shortages. There would be a very high possibility that we would uplift this shortages. Maybe, I'm sorry, I'm not 60 minutes, you can't make your eyes. Maybe, 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 given the fact that if we mandate this motion, the ratio would be like maybe 1 to 100. That certainly sounds better. Now, I'm sorry, I'm not with this, with this two strong points, we propose that we should mandate, we should make this motion compulsory. Thank you. House for our believers and motivator, our client paper, for my motivator, and all of us here, Mikey Lights, a pleasant morning call. What is beautiful to hear? Winning this debate or going against what is valid? Now, I am talking about the practicality of this scope of my speech, which is first. Control and lesser or possibly even limited organ selling. And then second, promotion of camaraderie, unity, and empathy among Filipinos. But before I proceed on these points, of my points, let me about first the unconsiderable, unconsiderable statement which is committed to the first speaker of the opposition side of the house. Now, the first speaker states about Conscience. He actually speaks about conscience, which is how about the feeling of these families if these if they able to donate our organs. Here, here. Consent, the consent of their families. Did they did they uh, give this without their consent? No, in the first place it has also strike the balance. What is the importance or what is the purpose of giving such organs? Is it beneficial or it is, is it not? Here, here. Without the purpose of this, to, to share this organ is to uplift every individual, considering that we Filipinos have the shortage of these organs. And why we are not willing to give our organs if it is possibly and it is assured the possibility of such life to ensure or uplift such life. Now, Sidian, they also talk about civil code. The property should be in the relative. Now, we all know that, that the property is all in the relative. Now, considering that, again, there is a shortage of this, uh, our, of donation of organs, the shortage of organs, why couldn't we share or why couldn't we implement such laws which is beneficial to everybody? Considering near to the is it not good to hear? For example, if I am I am already near to death and you are able to share your organs, then 
you should, uh, I am able to live when you are actually there of someone who is under the head and then they share their program so that I am alive again or you are alive again is it that good to hear? now let, let me continue to my substantial speech control lesson or facility in even eliminate organ selling I think we are all aware that even here in the Philippines, there is only a horse or a syndicate who is exercising this uh, sealing of organs, which is illegally, which is illegally act, illegally done in some manner. They are killing persons, even kill persons, just to sell our organs. Did you know that? They are even, they are even, they are even killing because their intention is to say the Rogas because there is actually as your age and that is the very reason why they kill such persons because they, they are against the Rogas Yes, what is that? It's not a reliable source No, I mean You are assuming Is it about assuming? No, it is example Thank you, thank you Thank you Is it about Is it assuming or is it a reliable source? Now, there is a news Later, uh, past months away uh, ago, there is the news that people killing uh, one person was being killed and the two organs was being taken away. And what is the purpose of taking that organs? Is to sell that organs. Now, we debate, what is the purpose of our debate here is that we should post, we should, there is, should be a mandatory donation of post organ, organ, which is for us, the government said that we should believe that it is useful. It is not contradictory. Now I think I'm done. The second argument promotion of camaraderie, unity, empathy among Filipinos. You know about give and take principle. We give. We say, is it that good to hear that we, specifically those who are near to them, death, will be assured that our lifespan will be extended? Our lifespan will be extended in the sense that there are someone who share their organs. This is simply because this post mortem big body, big healthy body, is being shared to someone else, which is considering that they are near to death, who suffered from such a organ disease. Is it that true? So we need to say this enables us to have a unity among individuals, specifically in the Filipinos. Of course, there is a tradition about helping each other. Filipinos are very little of that. We help each other, we give each other because we love each other. Then it will also give hope to the sick people. Considering that there are many sick people, they are trying to uplift their very lives. They want to be born, they want to be alive. But because of this shortage, because in our status quo, in our in, in the benefits, the shortage of organs is overwhelming. Again, the, the, uh, the, the Prime Minister pays up about 1 to 100. 1 to 100. So many to say, the needs of one person is to 100 organs. Now imagine that. Because there is no if and only if this is the donation of organs is being mandated. There is already a preservation. There is already preserved to such person who needs these organs. So many to say, we can easily get our organs if there is something or there are a person who are there near to give. Now, we as a government side of the house firmly and strongly believe that this is useful and our principle and reason is grounded with what we believe in. So, we firmly and strongly propose. So, I as the rebuttal speaker would like to greet you good morning. So, first I would like to rebut all the flashes statements of the, um, opposition, of the opposition side. I would like to lay down to ask their arguments. So, first, I would like to tell, to ask you this question. What is more noble, to give or to receive? 
what is more essential to save a life or to or to just point 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 out with the loss of this career well i would like um, with regards to our um to our uh, motion this house would make post uh, post-mortem organ donation mandatory well it is not yet legalized that that's why we are proposing it to be legalized.
his eyes to a person he needs him. Clear. Isn't it novel? Isn't it novel? So with that, I want to stress out our four fantastic arguments. First is the prevention, uh, preservation of life for the greater good. For the greater good. This is a democratic country. Yeah. We have been
deprive people of what life they could have. Yeah. 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 They can live better lives. At the brink of death, they can realize. They can realize. They can realize that. What have I done with my life? What have I been doing with my life? This is like a second rebirth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A rebirth. A second chance at life. Ultimately, you would like to do better. Also, sometimes, transplant is the only cure. Here, here! You can't really cure a harsh disease if it's filled with lard or whatever. Also, in addition, as I have run out of time during my speech, John Q is actually based on a true story. Yeah, 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 yeah. With this strong presence of ours, and as I have run out of time, we rest our case as we strongly believe that this proposition should be pushed through. Thank you.